Okay, so on to our tip number eight. Correct service temperatures. Now, there are different service temperatures for every sort of wine, really based on the strength of wine. You don't always warm reds and you don't always chill whites. It depends on the richness. There are lots of light reds that you might want to chill and lots of rich whites that you might want nearer to room temperature. Anyway, the internet can give you all of that, but a couple of little tips. Firstly, if you want to chill your white wine down quickly, uh, then bang it into an ice bucket and put lots of ice in there, but just lots of salt as well uh, with water and it'll release all of the latent cold the temperature from the ice and chill your wine down even quicker and there's another way with reds if you've gone, gone down to your again your cavernous wine cellar uh, and you found that your claret is just far too cold and you've got guests upstairs waiting for it what do you do bang it in the microwave no never don't put anything where you wouldn't put your pets uh, that's, that's rule number one with with you know, microwaves and wine and it's quite dangerous you could cause a fire uh, the other uh, where another few ways put it on the arga why not could do but again you'll burn the wine in contact with the, the any any heat in direct contact with the wine will burn it and you'll leave the the center cold so if you were wanting to quickly warm your red wine the best way to do is take your fine decanter or a yogurt pot doesn't really matter and you can put it onto some warm running water and then very slowly decant your wine into whatever it is under the warm running water and then all of it will come in contact with the wine at the same time and at the right temperature. So you've got a far better even temperature with your wine and it pretty much brings it right there rather than boiling some of it and, and so on and so forth. Right, on to our next tip, decanting.